Thank you, Seb. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you've had a good time so far. Come on, we can do better than that. I'm going to ask again. I hope you've had a good day so far. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so um, I travelled up on Monday evening, and having not been to one of these conferences before, uh, we were at Bristol Airport, and there was lots of people there with pink hair, blue hair, orange hair. And I turned to Claire, my colleague who's with me over there, and I said, do you think these guys are going to the Sintra conference? <laughs> and she said, no, David, you need to get alive. They've been to Glastonbury for the weekend. Anyway, I thought that was quite easy. Anyway, a couple of interesting facts then, mind-blowing facts even. Okay, so, did you know that in Poland, as an employee benefit, 80% of employees provide gym are provided with gym membership and ongoing educational support as, uh, for their staff. Mind-blowing fact number two. In Belgium, you're entitled to 20 days holiday every year, but in Hong Kong, you're only allowed seven. And this is really going to blow your mind. In Croatia, you're entitled to 30 weeks maternity pay, whereas in Portugal, you get a measly six weeks. Why am I telling you all this? Okay, this is just a small insight into how different countries treat payroll and HR rules around the globe. My name is David Wall, and I'm the CEO of Unitera, a Bristol-based company that is part of the PSSG family. We're responsible for supporting customers that are looking to go international, and we predominantly work with UK and US headquartered businesses. And we operate in about 70 countries today. As Eric mentioned this morning, Unitera is part of the PSSG family, and we were acquired in 2019 as we had a strong track record supporting organizations going global. I'll talk a little bit about how we support customers uh, and how we take them on that international journey in a minute. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about the international scene. The last four or five years, and Seb and Rob touched on it earlier, have created some really interesting challenges for businesses. First, there was Brexit and the UK's decision to break away from the EU. From a business standpoint, that raised lots of questions around free movement of workers, VAT and corporate tax, and those dreaded two words, data protection. Exiting the EU created challenges for businesses, but it also created opportunities. Then we had COVID at the start of 2020, where everyone had to create makeshift workspaces in their homes, in amongst kids screaming, dogs barking, and all of us consuming volumes and volumes of Netflix productions. Not in work time, Eric. <laughs> Allied to this, when restrictions were lifted, you had employees wanted to no longer work out of offices in Coventry or Manchester, but instead wanted to work from an Airbnb in the Caribbean. In many instances, this desire of employees to work flexibly from multiple locations required organisations to make decisions on current employees and how they worked. But also, it afforded employers the opportunity to look abroad for talent and skills that hadn't been obvious pre-pandemic. As a result of these new sets of challenges, whether it be Brexit or COVID or the shift to remote working, businesses still needed to survive. In a lot of instances, they needed to find new market share in new international countries. This is where the problems start or the fun games begin. Operating internationally is complex, often quite bureaucratic and importantly, very expensive if you get it wrong.
Working with businesses and taking, their international, taking them international is in Unitera's DNA. We operate as an extension of your local HQ business, and we have supported over 500 CFOs, finance directors, payroll managers, and HR managers in ensuring they achieve their strategic objectives. We offer a complete set of payroll and HR solutions to make going global easy and stress-free. In short, what we do is take away a lot of the heavy thinking because we've invariably seen what you're looking to do before and we know how to do it. We know what to do and we equally know what not to do. We take care of the administration and compliance related to payroll and HR in whatever international location you're looking to operate from. But most importantly for you guys, we enable you to sleep at night. Turning to our core services, I don't want to go into these in huge detail, but I do want to just cover them off as a, a high-level overview. Our international payroll, we provide a best-in-breed international payroll solution that can support customers in over 100 countries. Alongside that, we can pay employees around the world via one single payment, and we can access 130-plus currencies. In relation to the fully outsourced HR support product that we provide, this is provided from our team in Bristol, and we again act as an extension of your UK HR teams. We support from initial onboarding, day-to-day -day HR support for all of your in international workforce, all the way through to offboarding employees. The key thing again to note here is we have a team of experts who advise on international HR day in and day out. And they provide a mitigation tool and make sure that you are compliant when you operate internationally. In the international space, some of you may or may not be aware that there is an alternative employment model called PEO. I don't propose to go into that in huge detail today, but if any of you want to have more details on that, I'm happy to answer questions at the end. The other area that we do provide a lot of services um, for is the other business critical services area. So what I'm talking about here is often, depending on what country you want to go into, they will have their own specific requirements. Do you need a legal entity? What tax registrations do you need to make in a particular jurisdiction? Do you need a local bank account or a local resident director? All of those things you need to think about, and invariably, we've done it before for other customers. We also provide accounting and tax compliance support, which gives you all of the back office solutions and necessary support uh, with, with the payroll and the HR, so it's effectively a one-stop shop in terms of our solution. Just going into a little bit deeper on the international payroll and the HR side, I only wanted to pick up on a couple of points. On the international payroll piece, whether you need support in one country or 15, you'll only ever deal with one person at Unitera. This is incredibly powerful for busy payroll managers at HQ who just want a trusted payroll partner to get stuff done, making sure that their international workforce get paid on time every time in the right currency. With international HR, and I make no apologies for labouring this point, if your organisation has international employees and for whatever reason they get it wrong, it's a really expensive exercise. You only need to take France as an example, which is an hour away on the plane. Okay? If any of you have ever oper operated in France, it is a nightmare from an employment law standpoint with all the trade unions and the collective bargaining. Okay, that is why when we support customers that go in international, our solution is extremely helpful in terms of navigating customers through that journey.
I just wanted to briefly share with you a case study of our, an, exist, an existing customer of Unitera. So this is a customer that's based out of Belfast, and they're in the pharmaceutical sector. A client called Diaceutics, and they're AIM listed. So they came to us in 2018, and they had a very simple requirement, which is a one-person payroll in Germany. We talked to them about whether they were going to grow that headcount in Germany or whether it was always going to be one or two. And basically, they said to us, look, we, we only plan to have one or two salespeople in that country. So we advised them accordingly. They didn't need to set up a local entity. And we just had a very simple payroll registration to get them going. My point on this is it was only a very small project. And very often, that's how we start out with our customers. But we were able to add real value because they had no experience of German payroll. Very quickly, they wanted support in Singapore. Now, Singapore's rules, as I, as I, made, uh, as I pointed out earlier, are completely different to Germany. So they needed to understand about local bank, bank account arrangements. They needed to understand the payroll and the HR landscape. And we started supporting them uh, in Singapore. We fast forward to today, and we now provide support to them in 15 countries across three continents, and we are the trusted payroll and HR partner for that organization. The next slide is, uh, I wanted to share this slide with you because it's an example of some of the customers that we have worked with in the past to develop our knowledge, and some that we continue to work with today. The main point I wanted to, to convey with you is that we've had lots of years of experience at Unitera, and we often take very, very small customers, and we can't take all the credit for this, because I'm sure they do some of the stuff themselves. Um, but we, very often we start with them, start with them on a very, very early in, the, in their cycle, and some of them have gone on to become household names. And I think we you know, can take some credit for helping them along the way, which is uh, you know, it's great, it's very rewarding and uh, it's greatly, you know, really pleasurable that we can do that. Okay, I'm nearly finished. In terms of uh, our website, we have lots of free resources. So if, uh, if you are thinking about getting started on the international journey or you just want to build your knowledge, we have lots of tools on the website. It's country specific resources. We also do regular webinars and we've got one on the 7th of July. That's in relation to when to switch from a PEO model to a direct employment model. They're largely educational, so please, if you're interested, sign up to the, webs, uh, to the, the webinar. Um, alternatively, you can follow us, up, follow us on LinkedIn. We have lots of free material that we, we generate, normally country-specific content around payroll and HR, and, um, you know, We've just done one recently on how you, how you go about business in Japan. And you know, we get lots of inquiries off the back of that. So great knowledge in our business. Really pleased to be part of the PSSG family. And we, you know, we'd love to support you on your international growth journeys if and when you, uh, you're looking to start there. Has anybody got any questions before I hand over to Eric? So it's a really good question, and I'm going to put Seb on the spot. Um, <laughs> for everybody at the back of the room, Seb said it, it will be really soon. <laughs> it's on Seb's to-do list. Um, so just to give you a bit more insight, so we are the technology platform that we have at Unitera. Um, we are currently in the midst of a pilot phase. We're hoping to get all of our customers onto the platform. So we, we're working with about 200 customers at the moment, as I said, in about 70 countries. And we expect all of our customers to be on that platform by December this year. Any other questions? Another one? <laughs> Two for the price of one. <laughs> So it's a really good question. So we operate uh, an aggregator model. So um, can you just repeat the question because we didn't hear it? 
Yeah, sorry. The question was, how do we how do we find our how do we find our local payroll partners in a particular country, and what model do we operate? Is effectively the question, right? So our, we operate out of Bristol, and we have uh, international payroll experts in our Bristol office, and where we can deliver a complete payroll solution from the UK, from our Bristol office, we will do that. So in probably 20 of the countries out of the 70 that we operate in, we do it out of Bristol. Where we need a local in-country partner to support us, so for local payroll filings and social security contributions, we will work with a local payroll firm. Um, but as a customer, you never interact with those. You will only ever deal with our one point of contact in Bristol. Does that answer the question? Great. Anybody else? Okay, thank you for your time. I'll hand you back over to Eric.